Part two. Okay. Well, it takes it a second to catch oh. up with us, so. Catch up with us. Is it ready? It's, it's, we're 13 seconds in. Oh, so. okay. Hello. Welcome to part two of a series known as the Speaking of Girth, Becky and Aaron show. And it's good. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> So far, it's been, I mean, it's accurate, but it's not necessarily accurate. what I envisioned when I thought, I'm going to make YouTube videos. We're really, going to make YouTube videos. I really videos. thought I was going to be more composed, and I don't know why, because that's not really how anything goes for me, but I thought it would be. But we are just starting out with the whole YouTube thing. We started the blog thing in January of 2015, in case you're watching this in the future. Um, I brought that up twice now. <laughs> You're really but obsessed with people in the future watching it. I am obsessed with the future because, I don't know, they'll probably watch it from a thing under their skin and the screen will illuminate. Like a gross Apple Watch? Yeah, gross. Ew. Those things get rotten. Anyways, um, smell like sour vinegar. Um, <laughs> that's because they don't wash their wrists and the dead skin builds up and it's gross. Um, anyways, so that's not a thing. Um, but this part two, we're talking about Erin. She's visiting me. Our video was very long last time and kind of, but we needed to get our nerves out because for some reason we were nervous to do this together, even though that was supposed to help. Yeah. But the minute like we started doing it, I wasn't nervous anymore. We're good now. Yeah. Let me do this. I did put a bra on though. Yeah. She started to pee with the door open while she was going to put her bra on <laughs> and I reminded her I wasn't Jeff, so. No shame. Well, this morning I forgot Aaron was here because I'm that great of a friend. It wasn't that, yeah, it wasn't that I had to take muscle relaxants or anything. Um, but I walked out of my room naked to go pee, and then I didn't notice. I mean, I heard her get up, but I knew better than to dart out the door. Yeah, it's not like my naked body makes different noises. Well, like... I knew if you were up at four in the morning, I probably didn't need to be a part of that. <laughs> So I just kind of hunkered down on my bed and, I and prayed, prayed for forgiveness. <laughs> I don't know what she's like. I'm the most relaxed. So. Tired. Jeff's awake. Very tired, but I was tired too. But I didn't have a reason other than travel to exhaust me because I'm bad at it, as I've already wrote a post about. So you can go read that at speakinggirth.tumblr.com. Plug, 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 plug. Um, anyways, yeah, we are speaking of girth, Becky, Aaron, Aaron, um, we've been doing that since January, 2015. Future <laughs> girth lengths. For, yeah, girth lengths. <laughs> For our girth dumb. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. Speaking of like crazy laughter, I have a laugh that I mask from most people, <laughs> but Jeff's heard it because he makes me laugh really hard. JeffMarnard.com. Um, but <laughs> anyways, so we did part one where we're just getting our nerves out and kind of all over the place, but we ended with brownie brittle and how terrible it is and that we went and had to get eclairs instead. So we got eclairs, we watched Supernatural, Aaron had allergy had attack. A meltdown. Yeah, basically a full blown meltdown. <laughs> so I was screaming and crying. <laughs> sort of, because my eyes felt like they were going to just puff out of my body. And I'm not used to dealing with that. So. And I, I was just sitting. <laughs> she did eventually pause Supernatural for me <laughs> while I went and sobbed gently in the bathroom. <laughs> And I, I don't even, I don't even know what I did while you were in the bathroom, but. After like a few minutes have passed, you eventually said, are you okay? <laughs> I'm that <laughs> good of a friend, apparently. <laughs> but I really didn't want anybody to be. solitaire. I really didn't want anybody to see that, so it's okay. Oh, okay. Well, that's something good. that could be done. It was just, it was happening to me and I just needed to like grab on and get through it. Yeah. <laughs> Ride that train. Ride that out. Yeah. To the station. That's a train thing. Yeah. It's a crime to steal a train. Like, it's separate from carjacking. It's train jacking is different. Train, train jacking. <laughs> Jack that train. 
It at seems all. wrong because there's now a cartoon where the trains are like living things, and that's kind of gross to think about. Anyways, there's like it's recent. I don't know. No. Thomas. Thomas the Tank. We were children. Oh, okay. I never watched that. Wasn't it on around the same time as Reading Rainbow and all that shit? Reading Rainbow, I watched. PBS I Kids and Arthur. You didn't like Arthur? I didn't like Arthur. I liked Buster Bunny because he was very strange. I just felt like the sister <clears throat> was an asshole. She was an asshole. You have to have that asshole character to ground the show. Otherwise, it's like, this is unrealistic. An anteater talking? Like, I didn't care about that part. I, just, <laughs> I mean, that's just kind of the kid and adult that I am. <laughs> talking animals. Okay. <laughs> I want to live in that world, no. actually. <laughs> <laughs> Except there are some animals you really couldn't tell what they were. Like the bully guy, it's like he just looked like a pumpkin that was rotten on a it's body. His soul was rotten. His soul was rotten. Is my phone? Is that my phone? I'm pretty sure it's your air conditioning, which I'm not. I'm. It keeps kicking on. So. Yeah, my AC keeps kicking on because it can't decide. It thinks it's hot in here and it's not. It's comfortable for yeah. my lizard body. It is comfortable in here. My home is comfortable. Um, so we went to bed. Friday morning happened. Um, breakfast burritos. Breakfast burritos. That was really the highlight of the entire day for yeah, me. Yeah, me too. Oh, it was so delicious. They were covered in the hollandaise sauce, which I didn't know I needed in my life, but... Everyone needs oh, pretty right. a breakfast burrito covered in hollandaise sauce at least once in Just their to life. say that you had it, yeah. Yeah, it was very good. I didn't eat my leftovers, so I'm in bed. That's okay. Leftover person. I ate my leftovers because I was hungry. I get weird sometimes about reheating eggs. I do too, and I'm going to tell you that was the one part that was disappointing about the reheat. I just feel like something happens to them, and I don't like it, and I, I also get paranoid even though it's just, it's been in the fridge, so there's not really, no. it's not a disease or anything that I know of. You never know. You never know what can happen. <laughs> Sorry. Speaking of girth, um, so we got the breakfast burritos. Jeff got an omelet because he's an idiot. It was filled with olives, so I oh, should yeah. commend him for that, because the I olives. did look at it and think, I haven't seen that, and possibly brilliant. Olives and onions. Olives and onions inside of an omelet. I would not have gotten the sour cream on it. That grossed me out. But yeah. maybe the salsa would have been okay. Salsa. It had guacamole. I yeah. mean, that's... Oh, my God. Avocados, yeah. All yo. the amazing... Uh, yeah. It, was so, it looked delicious. It was delicious. So then, after breakfast burritos, we went to my friend's bakery, and we got a smorgasbord. How do you say that word? Smorgasbord? Smorgasbord. Um, smorgasbord. Smorgasbord. I can't say that word. Just. We got a variety of various different cupcakes and little cheesecakes and... That was it. And that was it. We didn't get the eclair she had. Because there was only one and secretly Becky didn't want to share it with me. <laughs> I thought that was the reason, but she didn't admit that until hours later. <laughs> until hours later. Uh, literally hours. Like We'd already <laughs> eaten a several cupcakes. And then she said, I said, oh, we didn't get the eclair. And she admitted that it was because there was only one and she didn't want to split it. And with I me. didn't want to split it because so I. She doesn't love me that much. I. It's not that. It's just like my body is so conditioned to hoard sugar. That, <laughs> you know, okay. That is a fatty no. ding dong. Um, so we, we did that. Then we went to. Did we, did we go to the um, bookstore after that? We went to the grocery store. Again, yeah. Grocery store again. This has been a grocery bill we've had so far. The grocery store is exciting because there's a giant horse in the middle of the grocery store yeah. that's made out of, like, a plastic mold. They took a lot of time with this horse. They did, and they thought of things that I wouldn't really think about. Like, we need to mold the penis shaft so of this know. male horse. Yeah, you need to know that that is a man's horse. That's a man's horse in, trying to sell this Coors Light or Bud Budweiser. Light. Oh, Budweiser. Yeah. Budweiser horse. That makes sense because it tastes it and smells sale. like shit. Yeah. Um, can I say shit on this? I've been swearing a lot. Oh, okay. Shit. <laughs> Anyways, we both took pictures. 
We'll probably post them somewhere because, you know, Instagram. Well, and we're trying this whole thing on Fridays where we have to post a picture. And, and talk we'll about talk it. about it. Yeah, so. Yeah, we're switching up. We're, we're switching, switching up. up. Oh, I need my hair. Did you okay. eat it? No, I'm good. <laughs> it's a good thing I put on lip gloss for this video. <laughs> Chapstick all the way. See? No stick. Little stick. <laughs> Little stick here in my mouth. I'm not into sticky around my mouth. I'm not in not or around my mouth. No alone. thanks. <laughs> yeah. No. Hold mm -hmm. that in. So. Hold it in. Put Hold it, it in. somewhere else. Save that. In the shower. What? Sink. At an airport. What are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. So. Speaking of girth. Speaking of girth. Horse dick. Horse dick. Um, the dick wasn't, like, in there because they didn't think that far ahead. It just, like, cut off the shaft with this weird plastic, like... It kind of looked like it hurt. It probably did hurt the horse that they were casting, but... Yeah. yeah. Casting. But, um, I also took a picture of it because it begged to be captured, really. Yeah. Remembered for a while. Forever. I think we went there for more bread for the soup. That. Also pretzel crisps. <laughs> pretzel crisps and jalapeno cream cheese. For the pretzels. And for apparently the soup. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then we went to a bookstore where I got this book. Do you see it? It's probably going to be backwards. It probably is. It's... The Devil in the White City. Erin is reading it. I'm into it. And so I decided to buy it. It was $5 at the bookstore. I also got this book. Oh. Oh, my God. It's not that far away. It's not. This book. And it says, Ain't nobody's business if you do the absurdity of consensual crimes in a free society. By Peter McWilliams. I only got it because it has funny quotes and funny pictures. And then I think but we realized this it might accidentally be some sort of Christianity book. But yeah. the quotes are still good. The quotes are good, but I think it's some sort of preachy book, but I'm not sure. We haven't really read anything besides the quotes. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to read much of it. I like the quotes. And we're doing a new thing, a new segment on Sundays on our blog. Quotes. So that will help me be inspired. So after the bookstore, store, sure, <laughs> bookstore, we went into a little knickknacky store where a guy painted cats on a rock and, and sold them. And sold them. Um, there was also like homemade baby clothes out of like crochet, I think it is. I don't know. It was strange, but. They had corn cob pipes. That I was excited about. Yeah. So and I liked that. Stand, you could rest your corn cob yes. pipe in if you didn't want to just leave that laying around because. Because you can't just have that shit laying around. You've you got to have, have a stand. On fire, but yeah. Yeah. I don't really know how corn cob pipe smoking works. I don't either because it seemed unpredictable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just not sure that I'm really skilled enough to be smoking anything. I don't think I should smoke ever. Um, mostly because I'm so paranoid about everything, so. Well, I get throat infections really easy, but that's not really my reason. I don't want to fill my lungs with stuff. Smoke. I have a hard enough time breathing pure air. True. <laughs> I'm allergic to everything, so yeah. that could possibly end badly for me as well. Yeah. So we went to the knick-knack store. They had very strange things. Very, very strange things. And then we decided to go to an old antique store. Well, no. An old hotel converted into an antique store. Yeah. Where... Possibly haunted. I'm just going to throw that out there. There were haunted relics that Jeff well, kept touching, but and, I... Yeah, we tried to warn him, like, that's how curses yeah. pass from person to person, and somebody's going to follow us home, and he kind of laughed like we were kidding. There were cold spots all over that antique there were, store. There were cold everybody, spots. Everybody knows that means there's ghosts. Yeah, I didn't smell sulfur, so I don't think there was, think demons. was demons. I think it was definitely a ghost. Or definitely a ghost. Aren't they the same thing? But it's still. Yeah. Oh, it was so gross. Like, I mean, in the sense that your body feels strange mm -hmm. in the cold spot. 
But anyways, Jeff kept touching the haunted relics. I told him to stop. I'm going to have to sacrifice something to get the haunted spirit away from him or something. Sage. Do a smudging. Sage. I only have dried sage. That's what you did. You burn it. Okay. I mean, granted, that's probably not good for allergies or asthma, but that is how you get them out. Okay. We know what to do now. Um, <coughs> I have iron around the house, too, so if it pops up, I'll just throw some iron at it. Quick fix. Um, when you say iron, do you actually mean vitamins? Because I haven't seen anything made out of metal. Oh, yeah, I mean vitamins. <laughs> <laughs> you can throw vitamins out of ghosts. It's an iron supplement. <laughs> no, we haven't. Jeff has something that's made of iron, but I don't know where it is. It might be in the garage. It's hmm. not a good place for it. Mm -mm. What is Jelly Jeff? Did you it's see kinda, It's kind of, <laughs> speaking of ghosts. <laughs> Are you? What? Jelly Jam, you okay? He's just tired. <laughs> Again. He's twitching. He's a little itchy. It's uh, summertime. So. Yeah. Cat allergies. Um. Anyways, that's very distracting to have an animal like just. Well, mine walk across my face while I'm talking, so. Yeah. I think I they're camera my shy. The face when I did that just now. So. Yeah. Aww. I don't need help. That's okay. Well, then we got Bruno sandwiches because every time Aaron's here, we have to get a Bruno sandwich. There's no creeper this time, so it was a good day. Yeah, no creeper, except one guy said hey to us when we came in, and then he like was, he knew us. But like I he knew us. I don't live here, so yeah, and I didn't know him, so I just did the I don't know you face, like, and he was like, uh huh. So I don't know, whatever. Delicious sandwich. Then we. Then, yes, then we went to physical therapy, which I... We went to physical therapy. Yeah, I have stuff, which you can read about, um, on the blog on Tuesday. Today is Saturday. Um, but Aaron had to sit there and read The Devil in the White City. Had to. Had to. Book club. Mm-hmm. Book club. We're serious about finishing books. I didn't know that was sign language for serious. No, I usually don't finish my um, book club books because I think I'm above most of the reading choices we make. I'm not in a book club, so. It's because you're a rebel. I'm a rebel. I don't want to be confined to other people's choices. Yeah. So I went to physical therapy, and he actually hurt me pretty bad this time. Um, he got some of the stuff figured out, but it hurt really bad to the point where when we got home, I didn't want to do anything at all. So I should made well I made Aaron watch cartoon. Cause, yeah. Because that's what I wanted to watch. <laughs> it's <laughs> <real> selfish. <laughs> Friendship. <laughs> so selfless. Come visit me. Come visit me. Watch this cartoon. And it was like a kids' cartoon, not a dirty cartoon. Like yeah, no, normal. it was full blown eight year old cartoon, not. Archer, <laughs> which would have been acceptable. Yeah, but then she, we watched. She did lure me in with saying she was gonna get season six of Archer for me, but I'm it didn't happen. Working on that. It's okay. I mean, technically, it's on my DVR if I knew how to use it. Yeah. Well, your DVR doesn't help us watch it here. My DVR <laughs> keeps putting things out of order, and I need to know what order to watch Archer in. This is serious. I don't. Can't know. you Google it? Have you heard of this? <laughs> up, There's this thing Google? called Google. It's a website, www.google.com. Anything. I don't, if I Anything. can't figure it out, I feel like I probably shouldn't have it. Yeah. In this, in this particular snack. Normally, Google, yes. I like to, unless it's not in the first three links, then it doesn't exist. That's what I've learned from Googling. Yeah, you skip the ad part, and then if it's not in the first three, you hit a dead end, you should give up. Yeah. Never go to the next page, ever. It's, yeah, but that, there's a little bit of truth to that, because usually page two on, it's just weird, vague shit where there was, like, a word you used. Yeah. Exactly. So after that, we watched some Garfunkel and Oats. Then we worked on the blog. We had a brainstorm session. We involved Jeff in that. Yeah. He tried to leave and go lay down and stuff, but... Yeah, but we kept bringing him back out. And then criticizing the ideas he was giving us. Yeah. But he was very vague. 
he it kept was... saying, oh, think outside of the box. It's like, but, but what, how? What box? What box? Like, what, what color is the box? Describe yeah. the box to me, Jeff. Tell, tell was... me what that means. And then he's like, oh, I'll think about it for a minute and come back out here. But then after he thought about it for a bit, he had, he had some good, good feedback. Input. It was more us badgering him. I think it was flustering yeah. a little bit. Well, it's just like, I don't like being told, like, think outside of the box when we already do. And it's like, I need critiques. That's not a critique. That's just a... Criticize me. Yeah. It's like, tell me how to be better. It's a little bit of a perfectionist thing for me. I'm like, just, this could be better. You need to tell me how right now. Yeah. What do you want to read? But he likes our stuff, so that... He's partial. Which is nice, but... Yeah, it is nice. He reads our stuff, so that's good. Um, He's one of three people I'm sure read our blog. Yeah. <laughs> the rest, <laughs> it's just a bonus. Yeah. I know a couple of people who read it, and then okay, it's so. and it's surprising when they like come up to me and they're like, "Oh, I read such and such," and it's like, "Oh, oh, I did not know you were a reader." Okay, right? Yeah, but um, what else happened on Friday? We didn't eat dinner until 9 p.m. and we decided that soup and massive amounts of bread was well, good. Again, the right answer. Yeah, good to do. Yeah, um, I, I, I need to thing. move these because they're distracting. You're fiddling with it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I'm sorry. Some ADD issues happening. We're good. But, yeah, my soup was pretty good, though. It was like a Bolano soup, which could go sideways on me, you know, because heartburn. But it was delicious. And I had Tuscan tomato. So I didn't really regret my 9 o'clock choices. I didn't regret mine either. But then I had to take the... It was a bird. bird hit the, did you hear it hit the uh-huh. window? That was a, okay, sorry. Bird hit the window. It was frightening. This just in. Bird hit the window. I live in a tree house, by the way. Just it's true. Um, it's it true. looks nice, but it is a tree house. Surrounded by trees. Surrounded oh. by trees. Um, near a raceway. <laughs> <laughs> the ideal place for a tree house. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, tree house. Uh, then the muscle relaxer than bed. Muscle relaxer. Couldn't get out of the couch for a little bit. Jeff came out to make Jeff sure had to assist out. because yeah. I'm sorry that I... I wasn't going to help with that because <laughs> that's how I'm a bad friend. I just sort of watched. I didn't call and for laugh. Jeff or anything. I just sort of stood there and observed. I couldn't get, like, I have recliner couch. Recliner couch. I have a recliner couch. And it's really difficult to push the, and when you're on, when you take a muscle relaxer and you don't go to bed right away, you can't really use. There was some question about whether you could walk. Yeah. Yeah, there was. (laughs) Jeff's always so worried, but I feel fine. Like. It's just, she feels fine. It's not that it is fine. Yeah. I could probably drive. (laughs) No, I could. No. Um, so that was Friday. Do you think we should stop that and then we'll go over what happened today? Sure. Sorry. Because we have the farmer's market. Does that look weird on film? I don't know. When I do mine, I do. And it looks crazy, but that's how I talk. But you haven't been doing that too much. I don't want to, like, you know, distract. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Trigger my biting, you mean? (laughs) All right, part three soon.